Breaking news coming in, latest coming in on the Kerala church sexual assault case. Now the crime branch would be investigating the entire case. This case is related to sexual abuse where five priests sexually assaulted a woman from Kotayam after blackmailing her following her confession. And this move is coming in after the National Women Commission wrote to the Kerala DGP. Remember, currently the case is being investigated by the church committee itself. Vivek Karindalam joining us now on the phone line. Uh, Vivek, so the crime branch would now take over the investigation. But if we speak about the ongoing investigation by the church committee, what have been the findings of the committee itself so far? Yes, the church committee is right now investigating the case. Uh, until now, they haven't revealed anything uh, as far as the findings of the investigation is concerned. We know that complaint has been filed on the 7th of May, but uh, it is after one month, mm -hmm. nearly one and a half month, that this particular person, the victim's husband, has was being called. You know, uh, for uh, you know, uh, just for uh, uh, as, as a part of investigation, he was called. You know, he, there was a talk with him uh, regarding the course of the investigation, but he says. Uh, that you know he is not satisfied. He is not that satisfied because uh, that's the reason he says that you know he wants uh, uh, the the church to investigate this uh, matter further because it's you know it's not a you know a case that is related to uh, something uh, you know uh, it's not an ordinary case. You know this is a case where five major priests of the Malangara Orthodox Church are in the dock and their pictures are on the social media. Everyone knew their identity also right now. And uh, this person has also come ahead and said that you know, he believes in the church and that's the reason he didn't go to the police station. And after that, you know, uh, if you look at uh, uh, the, the reactions coming from the church, the church was completely under the dock. Not, not even the Orthodox Church, but also the, the Catholic, the Syrian. No one reacted on this issue. And it was after the National Commission of Women, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in, informed, uh, uh, asked uh, the DGP of the state, uh, as, as what is the development of this case, as where is the case reached out in, and it's after that the DGP wrote a letter to the crime branch, and after the, it's on the office of the DGP that now the crime branch has taken up the case, and uh, yes, uh, we hope that you know, once the crime branch is taken, obviously they will be, uh, you know, questioned, the five priests will be questioned, and even the victim's version will be heard as what actually led to this. And, uh, you know, if at all someone else is there, you know, uh, yet to be identified. Because what we understand is that, you know, it's not just five people. Even more people are involved in this. It's a, it's a part of a, you know, uh, it's, it's been going on for some time. Because we know it's after the uh, confession that the woman did uh, to a priest uh, in the month of February uh, that this priest started blackmailing her and right. the rest of this, uh, you know, she was being sexually abused multiple times by five people. And now, with the crime branch taking uh, investigation after, you know, even the uh, you know senior CPM leader V S Achyutanandan writing to the DGP. Now we hope that the investigation will go in the correct manner. Right, Vivek. So, as per what you are telling us, is the fact that uh, the victim itself has uh, she, she her statement has still not been recorded, although the church committee had been set up for the investigation. But it appears that they are moving at a snail pace, trying to shield these priests. It appears because up until now, it's been over a month since this case came up, and uh, the the statement of the victim has not been recorded yet by the committee itself. What has been the progress in the past one month? Uh, of this church committee that was set up by the church? See, uh, the, uh, th that is the biggest problem. The church committee is not ready to reveal anything to the public. We try to reach, uh, uh, you know, the Malangara Orthodox Church spokesperson. His mobile was switched off. I, I even tried to reach a number of other people related to the Orthodox Church, but they were not available. So no one knew exactly what is the course of the investigation. It's only what we know is the version and the, the the husband of this particular victim who spoke to us who clearly said that you know he had a belief in the church and that's the reason he didn't approach the police station he gave you know he gave the written complaint to the church company mm -hmm. we, no one actually know you know what is the course of the investigation what is the development where has the investigation reached no one has any idea but one thing is sure that uh, the church is clearly trying to shield uh, you know, uh, the five priests. That's mainly because, you know, what we understand is that even the woman in question, uh, the victim is also not, is also absconding. No one knows where she is. So uh, there is a complete uh, cloud, you know, around this. No one knew exactly what's happening. But one thing is sure uh, that uh, there is an unrest that's been brewing within the church. A number of people started reacting in the social media. But even what's even more, uh, you know, shocking is that none from the 
intellectual wing uh, of the of kerala uh, kerala politics especially uh, politicians you know right from uh, congress to cpm to bjp no one has reacted in this sharply that mm-hmm. is mainly because we know that this particular uh, church uh, the church and this organization and also that the you know uh, malangara orthodox is uh, is a prominent community in this particular area no one want to take a chance and that's the reason no none of the politicians and none of the uh, the intellectuals okay. uh, right from the left no one uh, you know reacted on this it's after uh, you know uh, that the national commission for women and now the dgp right. intervened in this that a crime branch has taken up this case